Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us try to find the distance between two vectors in Rn spaces. So the distance between two vectors in Rn spaces is, uh, we can think about it in the following manner. In geometry, the distance between two points was, uh, was given to us as follows, isn't it? If, let me, let me, let me write that. In geometry, In geometry, the distance between two points, distance between between two points, and if the points were x one, um, x one, y one, and x two y2 let's say if we if we had two points if this is point 1 and this is point 2 and this had x1 y1 and this point was x2 y2 and if this was the graph like that then the distance between these two was given to us as um, was given to us as x2 minus x1 raised to the power of 2 plus y2 minus y1 raised to the power of 2 under the radical term like that. That was the distance formula we know from geometry. We can use a similar concept for finding the distance between two vectors. Between two vectors. In vector terminology, the distance can be viewed as the length of vector u minus vector v. Okay, so if we have two vectors, if let me write that here, if u is a vector and its components are u1 and u2, and if v is another vector, and if the components of that vector are v1 and v2, the length of this vector, the length then length is given to us as u minus v that is the representation of the length is given to us as vector u minus vector v and then when we draw these two lines on either side that represents the that that means it is the length of the vector and that is can be written out as the square root of u1 minus v1, the whole squad, plus u2 minus v2, the whole squad, like that. And then represented, the length of the vector is represented as d times u comma v, sometimes it is represented that way, sometimes it is also represented as vector u minus vector v, and then we draw these two parallel lines on either side, that is also the representation of length of the vector. Therefore, we can write this as the square root of u1 minus v1, the whole squad, plus u2 minus v2, the whole squad. And that is how we can find the length of a vector. We can also represent the length of the vector graphically as shown here. If this is the graph we have, and if this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis, and if we have a point um, like this, let's say this is a point, and from the origin if we were to join that point, if that is a vector, and if this vector, the terminal points are u1, comma u2, and if there is another point, and if we call this point as uh, v1, comma v2 and if we were to join it to the origin here and if this is vector u and if this is vector v the distance between these two vectors represented as d u comma v the distance between those two can be represented by this formula here 
the square root of u1 minus v1 the whole square plus u2 minus v2 the whole square. That is the way to find that out. In my next presentation, we shall look at some examples to find the distance between two vectors.